A new report tonight gives us insight into the hours that led up to and after a deadly crash involving UNC football players. Yeah, that crash in January killed sophomore student Molly Rotunda. Ten people faced charges in connection to her death and that crash. Tonight, CBS 17's Haley Fixler is uncovering what investigators are learning. A 20th birthday celebration for UNC football player Zachary Rice turning deadly. The North Carolina ABC Commission and alcohol law enforcement teams now revealing the timeline of events leading up to and after that fatal crash on January 21st. Receipts show UNC football player Travis Shaw paying $910 for tequila shots for himself, Rice, and a group of friends. Investigators say they were at two bars, still life, and might as well. This new report detailing each time the group took shots, noting Rice took at least five within an hour before leaving the bar in different groups. In one car, Rice, Shaw, and another UNC football player, Malachi Hamrick. Sophomore Molly Rotunda, a passenger in this black Mercedes driven by UNC student Flamisia Brewer. Rice and Hamrick sitting through interviews with investigators. This report shows Hamrick told investigators the two cars were side by side on the highway. Brewer's lane was ending, so Rice says he slowed down to let her in, but says her car kept going and went, quote, airborne. Investigators say Rice and Hamrick found Rotunda in the back of the car and pulled her out, adding they left the scene after she was taken away by an ambulance because, quote, it was too much. Rotunda died from her injuries. Pictures in this report show the speedometer stuck at over 100 miles per hour. During the interviews, officers learning Rotunda texted Rice asking for a ride, but he didn't see the message. The report noting, quote, Rice appeared upset and may have even felt some form of guilt over Rotunda's death by missing the text message. Rice telling investigators, quote, he did not think anybody was too drunk and he would have stopped people if he thought they were. Rice is charged with underage drinking and driving. Shaw is charged with aiding and abetting underage drinking and underage drinking. Hamrick was in court just a couple of weeks ago. He pled guilty to underage drinking. He's now on probation and will have to do community service and has to undergo substance abuse assessment and treatment. The other people charged in this case are expected in court again later this month. I'm Haley Fixler, CBS 17 News.